today I'm here with a new video and I'm also testing to sit a little bit different. Maybe just do the light. I do not sit that comfortable when I'm recording and I don't have a good mirror and stuff like that. So I have changed around a little bit. <laughs> I don't know if this is good. I don't like that you can see this. But hey, I will have it in this video. And today I am doing uh, duping a melt palette again. I did where I duped the Millennial Pinks palette and you seem to like that. So I'm going to dupe the 420 palette. And I'm going to do She's a Party. She's a Party. The new pinkish purpley one. Because I got asked to do that and I'm going to do the after this. I just wanted to dupe this 420 palette because I really wanted this palette but the reviews weren't that good. And that is like my problem with Melt. I think they do really cool color stories and I don't like the weed theme that they have pretty often. I like this 420 palette but I think they do such cool color stories. But I don't think the palettes are worth the money because it's always one or two bed shades in all of the palettes and this 420 palette I watched Teresa Estead and Angelica Nyqvist and they didn't like it and <laughs> then I was like okay I'm not going to buy it so I have taken out some one palette and some singles that I'm going to try to dupe and the palette if you only want something similar, I think you can only go with the palette, but I decided to take in some of the other shades, some single sh shades. So the palette is Nomad by Yuga's Place. I really love this palette. The only thing that I can think this is missing is like that shimmery, goldy yellow that is in the 420 palette and also like a brighter green and that's the thing this is missing but I think it's kind of a dupe and the single shades I have taken out is these four this one is from I wanted something gold so I took this this is Exonics I think from Lethal and the other three are from Menagerie so it's Plankton kelp and cub so these two are from the whale song and this is from killer pearl you can buy all of them separately if you want to and i think if you just want <laughs> something similar you can take like these or similar to these and take maybe dark brown as well and i think you have like a good representation of the 420 palette so i'm going to swatch the shades that i'm planning to use and one thing I always think it's hard to do these videos is I don't want to go the, from the swatches that Melt does because they do swatches that are so, so much. And the palettes, when you swatch the palette yourself, it doesn't look like that. So I just Google and find picture and I will leave it together with the colors I swatched. So I am going to swatch and show you and this is such a long intro. Okay so these are the colors that I have chosen. I don't think I'm going to use them all and I will write down in the description which color is which. So yeah I am going to use some of these create a look and I think I actually know what I want to do. So let's see how this setup is going while I do my makeup because I have a mirror here so I'm going to look a little bit down. I hope it's okay. So I'm going to start with this one in my crease. It's from Menardry. I can't remember if it's kelp or plankton. I'm going to write it here so you know and this is one of my absolute favorite shades from Menardry. And I'm taking this in uh, my crease. And I think it is fun to 
try to do palettes I always had like I'm going to be so bad at this so I never wanted to try and then I did a millennial pinks and I was so happy when a lot of you seemed to like it so I was like maybe I can do this and I if you want to see any other palettes than melt palette I can try to fix that I don't know which palettes you want to see, but I will try. And then I actually think I want to deepen down my crease a little bit. I'm going to try to go in with this dark green from the Nomad palette and see how that will look. And I take a little smaller blending brush, even though I know for somebody this is maybe like just a big blending brush. but. For me, it's a small blending brush. And I'm also thinking about taking this on uh, the outer of my lid as well. So for my lid, I think I will go in with this one like on the outer corner and maybe deepen it down with this brown one. And then I want to go in with this green one and the gold one. To do maybe not a half cut crease but something like a half cut crease and where did I put my brush okay maybe this wasn't that comfortable either it's a struggle yo so okay I'm going to go in with the dark green that I put a little in my um, crease and can you see me good now or is this not a good angle? I am happy for suggestions. I really <laughs> I really want to move because I want to have a good filming place and also I want to live bigger. <laughs> But I have to do the best of it, and I I maybe think the other setup that I usually have is better, but it's not comfortable for me. And this was way co more comfortable, but yeah, I don't know. Okay, maybe it took a little bit too much how I'm going to fit in the gold in there. I don't know. I am going to take this one just a little bit but I think I might cut like a, not a half cut crease even but just a little bit so I can take this maybe a little bit more and still have some gold in there yeah I still have some room and I don't know what's up with the darker shade in my crease in here better okay, so far I really like this look I think this can be I think this can be something I'm just going in with the darker green a little bit more maybe I don't need to deepen down the outer corner we will see maybe I do and maybe I don't so far I am really happy with this look and I am planning on taking a red lipstick to it because it's a green eye and I'm drinking some Pepsi. It is so hot. So I go in with the gold one. And I hope this will stick in here. Yes. And this I really like with Lethal's shimmers. Some of them are like, you can put them down like this and it looks really, really good. But if I would have put a glitter glue on there, it would have been super, super cool. But sometimes I just want it like this. Not too much. Okay, I, I really, really like this look. I'm just going in again with this green to just take a little bit on my brush and tap it off and blend it a little bit better with the gold one. And 
And then I'm going in with the gold one again. And taking it here again. I actually think I really like this. No, I don't just think I know I really like this. I want to go in with the green that I have like in the middle just a little bit more. Just like here. And then I take the darker green. Now I have used three of the same brush to three different eyeshadows. I don't know why I do this. Okay, I think it looks better on this eye than on this eye. So I think I'm done with lids like this. So I'm going off cam, fix my base, and then I come back and we do the under eyes. And I think I want to go in with the same colors. But I'm actually thinking about going in with a yellow in my inner corner. So either... Uh, this one cub from uh, menagerie or this yellow with some specks from the nomad palette we will see which one i feel like using so yeah i will fix my base and then i come back time for the under eyes and i am going to go in with i think I think this one from Menagerie and then take this dark green to deepen it down from Nomad. So I'm just taking the one from Menagerie first, tap off my brush and just smudge it underneath my eye. Then we take the dark green on the same brush because I'm lazy like that. Tap it off and this I just take on the outer part here to connect my lower lash with my lid. And then I actually think I will take this yellow from the Nomad palette, take a smaller Brush. This is from Kaleidos. I love this brush to use in my inner corners, like in my inner crease, and that is S5. Take this on my brush and I'm not going to do anything special. I'm just going to put it down and take it a little bit to the green, but also a little bit as an inner corner highlight, even though it's not a shimmer shade. So I actually think I am really happy with the eyes like this. I'm going to put something in my waterline. I think I want to take something green. Or maybe a yellow. I will see what I want to do. Fix that, put on a red lip and I guess it will be a red. A red lip and I guess it will be a red. No, I only have to decide which one. But a lip is something in my waterline and mascara and then I am finished. This is the finished look for my waterline. I used one of my new favorites. This is NYX Vivid Brights Eyeliner in Hot Dang, I think it is. It's so hard to see. Yeah, Hot Dang. And on my lips, I took an old trusty favorite. It's from Nabla and it is Hanging Rock. I love this. I was so close. <laughs> to take unspoken but I'm like I've used unspoken all the time so this is the finished look I am really really happy with it I like the gold in my inner corner and I love that it goes from dark green to gold and I think this would be a look that I would have done or something similar with the melt palette and I'm so happy to do this because now I really really don't want the 420 palette. I don't know if it's even available or if it was like a uh, limited edition. So what have I used? I have used, I didn't use this one so I can take it out. I used these. These two are from the Whale Song palette from Minardi but you can buy them as singles. It is Plankton and Kelp. I can't remember which one is which. And this is from Lethal. 
And then from the Nomad palette I used these two up here and this one. Did I use this one? No, did I use? No, I only used these two, I think. Okay, I'm going to write this down in the description. How can I not remember? But yeah, I really like this look and I hope you liked it as well. Next time I'm going to try to dupe She's a Party. I can never remember what it's called. No. I will try to dupe that, but I've heard that palette is good and it's not like this 420 palette. So maybe if I would like the color store more, I maybe would have buy it. But I'm not going to you, so I will ha happily dupe it. And then I think I'm not going to dupe any more melt palettes because I don't know which ones there is. So yeah, if you want me to dupe anything else, please let me know and I will try to do it. And I will of course write all the shades that I've used down in the description if I can remember which shade it was. So yeah, I really hope you liked this video and if you're not subscribed to my channel, please do so you don't miss any of my other videos. Do I just, how, how, how can I forget this? So yeah, I hope I'll see you in the next one. Bye!